Next up, we're gonna go into Snipe Hunter Control. Do you guys know how Snipe Hunter works? This is a fiend monster where you discard one card, and then target one card on the field and roll a six-sided die, and then destroy that card unless you roll a one or six and it's not once per turn. So I have cards that gain advantage in the graveyard or come back. So we have Sinister Serpent to come back every turn, Labyrinth Chandelier, who also comes back, Metal Foes Fusion, which draws a card, and Absolute King Backjack, which can set a card to the field. Where's the OG Thunder Dragon? Garbage. And then we have Dice Dice to search it out, and then Dice Foon just for the lolls, and then we have um, some Floodgates so that I can actually like not lose instantly because we're playing deck centered around Dice Hunter. Oh, I forgot to hit Select again. All right, Snipe Hunter Control. Where's Barrel Dragon? Oh, I already did that. That one's done. No more Barrel Dragons. This deck sucked. <gasps> going first? Yes, I want to go first with my going first deck. Not Tribe Infecting Control? I forgot Tribe Infecting Virus was a thing, to be honest. I just kind of blocked it from my memory. <gasps> Ooh, going first! This is an excellent going first hand. Looks like I'm facing off against the Grinch, who's playing a 60-card pile. They're either playing Grass or they're a new player. I'm going to take a Gander at the guess that they're probably a newer player. Link Karibo. Activate Absolute King Backjack to stack the top three cards in my deck. Two, three. Okay, and I should be able to use the effect to set a trap card during my opponent's turn. For great effect. You think the Grinch is going to Grinch it up? Link Karibo is a Cybers monster. I do need him off the field. <gasps> Numeron Network. Hopefully they don't have a way to um, <laughs> remove my back row. Archifiend's Ghastly Glitch. It can be activated this turn. However, I don't really have a way to like use it this turn. I want him to use Numeron Network. Yeah, Numeron Network. Activate its effect to special summon four cards. Uh huh. I want him to get the cards out first before I use there can be only one. Bro is going against the Grinch. That's one. That's two. That's three. And... That's four. Now I activate there can be only one. Now he has to send all of those cards to the graveyard except for one of them. You absolute buffoon. Watch him rage quit. And then he sets one card face down. Enters the battle phase. Is going to attack my Link Karibo to get him off the field. Please. Please get him off the field. I need him off the field so I can go into... No, I don't. I can summon Snipe Hunter. Because I have there can be only one on the field, which means I can go into there can... I can go into Snipe Hunter. Oh, one material Zeus? I guess I can go into one material Zeus. Oh shit, Logs is going to go give Tina subs? What do you mean? Tribute Burial? Uh, I kind of want to see what they bring out. Go for it. <laughs> what are they going to summon? <laughs> that requires two tributes. They didn't do anything. Tina's going to do Boof Pack ASMR for 10 subs. Boof Pack ASMR. Ooh, nice. Pot of Extravagance to draw a whole bunch of cards. Man, I love stacking the top of my deck. Normal Summon. Snipe Hunter. Activate. Snipe Hunter. Discard Chandelier. Destroy Numeron Network. <gasps> Ooh, I got it. Then activate Ghastly Glitch. Destroy this card. Send a card from my deck to the graveyard. We'll send an Absolute King Backjack. Activate Chandelier to come back to my hand. And Backjack to stack the top of my deck. Yeah, it's Snipe Hunter time. I told you I was going to do a Snipe Hunter deck. You guys just didn't believe me. Um, Select a card of your choice. Uh, let's see, which ones I want to draw into? It doesn't really matter. No, actually, I'd rather draw into that one. And then Chandelier comes back to my hand, and he's a fiend monster, so I can't summon him, but I can activate him, ooh, in order to get the field spell out. Which, I guess I'll do, why not? Send Rivalry to the graveyard. Set the field spell out. Now I can bring back Snipe Hunter every time I activate a trap card. What do they have in the graveyard? That's not very good. Cannot be sure by battle. Ooh, it's a good thing I destroyed that card. <laughs> what the hell is this? Shining Pisophilia. Cannot be sure by battle. At the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can place one peace counter on this card. Uh, then you can apply the following effect, but it's a number of peace counters. Uh, place one monster from deck on top of your deck. 
Draw a card, add a monster from deck to your hand, add one card from your deck to your hand. Goblin Thief. Oh, <laughs> Goblin Thief, are you kidding? <laughs> That's hilarious. Your opponent's about to end his or her turn. Now, I know for a fact I do not have that card on top of my deck. It is the draw phase. Activate the effect of a card. Activate Snipe Hunter. Send Metal Foes Fusion to the graveyard to destroy this card. Potentially. Oh, why the hell are they playing Go 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 Gloves? Activate Metal Foes Fusion to draw a card. Another one. Okay. Ice Dragon's Prison. Do they have something strong? Oh my god, it only has... It has zero attack. I thought it would have 1800 attack or something. I wasn't paying attention. There is no applicable card for the effects of your card. Ooh, I can go into Dehark. But they don't have anything to summon, so I'm just going to attack. For I'm just going to poke for a little bit of damage. It's not game over yet. Goblin Thief is peak. It's not that we didn't believe you. It's just that like 50 people reading build a deck, so we'd figure... It'd be centuries before you got to the deck. Got to what deck? What are you guys talking about? Unexpected. What the heck kind of deck are they playing? Looks for the sub frenzy AG. Left arm of Exodia. It's like those guys who come on my stream. They're like, hey, you're building bad decks. You should add Exodia to your deck. It's like, why? They're like, because it's a bad card. You want to add Exodia to your deck, right? I was like, no. <laughs> I like my decks to be playable. They don't have to be good, but I want them to be playable. You can't just add Exodia to your deck. You have to build your deck around Exodia. Absolute King Back Jack. Ooh, another one. This is a Fiend Monster, so I can't summon it out. I can get it in the graveyard, though. Get it to the graveyard. Target this card over here. Dang, I haven't whiffed a single... <laughs> it's another Exodia. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Battle phase. <gasps> Activate the effect of a card. Ooh, it doesn't do anything because his effects are negated. Oh, I didn't know it works off of it. it attacking as well. I still have Solemn Judgment. But if you have Exodi, you have a 1 in 71 million chance of winning the uh, duel at the opening hand. I know, right? Thanks for the sub, Timid Miku. Miku. Timid Miku. Is this a pre recorded stream? I'm having deja vu. This card is activated. Add an automatic card from your deck to your hand. Ooh, let me activate this card. I know I don't have a card on top of my deck. But I can send Sinister Serpent to the graveyard. I had to stop playing Exodia because I kept drawing all five pieces in my opening hand. <laughs> Utopic Onomatopoeia? They can't do their plays under there can be only one though. Setting a card to the field. Ending their turn. Okay. Draw phase. <gasps> Another Snipe Hunter! Activate Sinister Serpent in your graveyard? Yeah. Add him back to my hand. Would this be interesting to watch if it was pre-recorded? I don't know. Activate Snipe Hunter. Get rid of this card. Oh, it finally whiffed. Activate Snipe Hunter. Get rid of this card. There we go. This is a reptile. It's a little bit of extra damage. I'll go for it. <gasps> Ooh. That's 300. No, I kind of want him on the field. Why are we discarding the Sinister Serpent last? Because I don't need to just discard it yet. And if I just wait a turn, I can use it on my next turn and get it back again for free. It's more advantage this way. Rip 4 out of 5? Yeah, I landed it 4 out of 5 times. That's pretty good. I got Jump Promo Black Ship of Corn. Nice. Okay. Will we roll a 1 or 6 with Snipe Hunter? Well, I mean, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to use his effect again, though. <laughs> Surrendered. Especially when I'm in such a winning position. Let me look at my opponent's deck. Match history versus the Grinch. They're playing Numerons with random Onomats, random life point gain cards, and a random Exodia. God, isn't Gold 5 amazing? Gold 4. 